Please be seated. Good afternoon. Thank you. My name is Jim Reynolds. It's my honor to serve as the 16th president of Millican University. Can we have one more round of applause for the faculty jazz quintet, please? We are especially grateful for their contribution to this ceremony. Before I introduce the platform party, I'd like to read Millikan's land acknowledgement statement. As an institution of higher learning, Millikan University has a responsibility to acknowledge the historical context in which it exists. Thus, in the spirit of reconciliation, we acknowledge the land upon which we celebrate today is the ancestral home of multiple native nations. Specifically, we stand on the lands of the Peoria, Kaskaskia, Miamia, Maskutin, Meskwaki, Kickapoi, and Oketi Sakawan nations, which hold historic, cultural, and sacred significance to these indigenous people. We also acknowledge the living history and contributions of these first people who inhabited the land prior to the establishment of Millican University and recognize their continuing contributions which allow our campus community to flourish. At this time, I'd like to introduce the individuals who are participating in the ceremony that are sitting on the stage. I'd ask them to please stand as I call their names and to continue standing until everyone on the stage is introduced. I'd like to ask the audience to please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Alex Berry, University Registrar, Millican Class of 2009. Ron Branch, Chair of the Millican Board of Trustees, Millican Class of 1981. LaVon Fisher-Wilson, commencement speaker, Millican class of 1995. Mary Black, university provost. Elizabeth Gephardt, interim dean of the College of Professional Studies. Jessa Wilcoxon, interim dean of the College of Fine Arts. Gina Bianchi, vice president for alumni and development, Millican class of 1993. Wallace Sutherland, vice president for student affairs and Sarah Kotick, Executive Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer. Today's a wonderful day for all of us who are part of Millican, whether you're joining us in person or by streaming video. We're especially proud to be gathering with members of the graduating class who will be receiving their diplomas today. More than any other university event or program, commencement has very special and symbolic significance. Although our primary purpose is to pay tribute to all of you who are receiving degrees today, we also come together to recognize the collective efforts of so many, parents, spouses, guardians, significant others, children, employers, friends, faculty, and staff, all of those who have played a vital role in our graduates' achievements and have loved them to the finish line. I'd like to ask the graduates to please stand up and offer a round of applause to all those people who are here today that are supporting you. Thank you, you may be seated. For many of us, today is payday because this ceremony has such significance for our university. It's the culmination of many years of hard work for our students and their families and represents a demarcation point for us all. The end of an academic generation and the going forth of educated individuals who will help create a better society for us all to live and work in. Today, we get to be a part of one of the most important days of your lives, knowing that we played a small role in getting you here. You're offering a gift to all of us who will remain behind at Millican University as you go off into your bright futures. And for that, we're especially thankful. We're grateful to be able to celebrate with you. This afternoon, you'll hear from a fellow student, Alila Kinyuwa, 
who has shared this experience with you and wants to offer her reflection on her time at Milliken and from our commencement speaker, LaVon Fisher-Wilson. For some of you today, this is your first graduation ceremony. Your high school graduation in 2020 was altered significantly because of the COVID pandemic, and you didn't get a chance to be with friends and family and participate in a formal ceremony. You came to Milliken that fall, and you've persevered. You've been resilient and tenacious at times. So today isn't just a graduation ceremony, but it's a victory party for all of you. We admire your grit and determination to succeed during a really difficult time. I also know today that it's one of those days where everyone is gonna give you advice or they're gonna ask that question that you probably dread by now. So what are you gonna do next? I promise not to ask the question, but I'll offer a quick bit of advice with your permission. My advice is pretty simple. Don't lose the plot. Maybe you've watched a movie or a series on Netflix that was so convoluted, it became almost impossible to follow what was happening. That was Game of Thrones for me. I lost the plot, trying to remember who was related to whom and which group was fighting with another. It occasionally happens in our daily lives, though. We're bombarded with images and messages, work issues and family issues, and it can be overwhelming at times. When I get into that place, I tend to lose the plot. I forget what's important. And to use a phrase from a dear friend, I tend to major in the minor. So I want you to remember three things today so that in the future you won't lose the plot. First, love the people who love you. Second, serve the people who need you. Third, cherish the life you've been given. When you get to that place of feeling overwhelmed and you feel like you're losing the plot, focus on what's important. Love the people who love you. Serve the people who need you. Cherish the life you've been given. I'll conclude by saying thanks to each of you. I'm thankful for what you've given to Milliken during your time here, and I speak for all of the faculty and staff of the university and say thanks for giving us the opportunity to know you and to be a small part of your exceptional lives. The president I used to work for ended each commencement ceremony by saying, go out and do well, but more importantly, go out and do good. I'll finish by saying, remember the plot, class of 2024. Thank you. It's now my great pleasure to introduce the Provost of Millican University, Mary Black. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Alila Kenua, representing the College of Fine Arts. Alila, would you please join me on the platform while I'll, I tell everyone a little about you. Alila Kenua is graduating with a BFA in art therapy with concentrations in painting and drawing. Alila is from Hinesville, Georgia, the daughter of Will and Arkisha Kinua, and is the oldest of seven kids who all get their great looks from her. <laughs> Throughout her time at Milliken, Alila has had much personal growth and was constantly reminded of her passion for making change and serving minority communities. As she is transitioning into this new chapter of life, she is excited to utilize the tools and skills obtained to advocate for others, while also providing help and resources for others to do so, including for themselves. Alila spent four years being an active member of InterVarsity and the Black Student Union, serving as the president in her senior year. She has been committed as a student employee for the Kirkland Fine Arts Center box office, as a ticket office representative and house manager for the past three years. During her senior year, she became a new member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, serving as the chaplain on their executive board. Alila is thankful to have been blessed with the many communities she has been a part of and contributed to. Through these experiences, she has learned the importance of self-love and identity, involvement and inclusion, building healthy connections and networks, and most importantly, grace and kindness. She is also thankful for the unconditional love and support of her family, friends, peers, and Millican faculty and staff. Please join me in welcoming Alila Kenua to the podium. Hello. It's 
talk about involvement. Um, I was a lady who was busy and I stood sad and rested on business. Okay, resume is long, bookies. <laughs> Good afternoon, President Reynolds, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, and fellow graduates. Thank you, Provost Black, for that kind introduction. Um, I'd like to start off with a quick story. Um, my first year, I made the fire alarm go off in Dawson Hall. <laughs> um, my hair needed some TLC, and it was wash day, and it was time for like a fresh twist out. So. Um, and for my black girls out there, we know that takes a, a long time. So it's like an, an entire, you get it, you get it. <laughs> it's, it's an entire day process. So like no plans were made that day. Um, anyways, my body is washed. Um, I'm dressed to do my hair. My hair is clean, prepped and moisturized to be blow dried. Um, I'm about halfway done with my hair and I was on the phone with my mom and my sister. And while we were talking, I start to hear a faint ringing in the background. And you know, the whole time I'm thinking the noise is coming from the phone. And I asked my sister, is y'all fire alarm going off? She says no, and then the noise gets louder. Ah, yeah, that's when I realized the alarm was going off in my building. And so um, I take my time getting ready so I can wait outside because I already missed the three minute mark to exit the dorm anyway. So I thought, ah, might as well, I'm not in danger. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so yeah, while I was too busy trying to be investigative like Jamal from On My Block, um, I could have been I could have been outside. But anyway, I make it out there, and all the students are mingling. And about five to seven minutes go by, and my RA at the time tells me that I have to go speak with him in public safety in the code deliberus. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> and so. Um, they told me that I was the reason the alarm had went off, and it was because I was blow drying my hair. And from there is when I knew I was going to be iconic on this campus. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so it took me a while to get the words for this speech simply because so much has contributed to my growth and success on this campus. Um, as stated in my introduction, my hometown is 14 plus hours away from Milliken, which made it difficult for me to travel back home or for my family to visit. Um, it was such an adjustment because prior to me attending Milliken, I spent those 21 years only knowing home and being around my family, my number one support system. I spent most of my time in my room doing homework, getting on my Zoom, or binge watching Grey's Anatomy and YouTube Gamers. And any involvement with student org organizations happened virtually because we were still facing the challenges of COVID-19 and campus was not fully open to students. But I wasn't completely alone. Um, my aunt Kat, my cousin Corey, and my cousin Bentley Boo, who's a little Yorkie, um, from Springfield opened their home to me and I spent weekends and holidays there. It was full of laughter and love, and I also got delicious home-cooked meals. They were very good. Um, <laughs> being around my family and noticing the impact they made within their careers and their communities encouraged me to be a more active student. In my second semester of my first year, I was a general member of the Black Student Union. The members took me under their wing and made me feel most welcome as a black student. I then began attending Bible studies with InterVarsity's multi-ethnic and black campus ministries group, where I was surrounded by a community of people who, like me, were seeking to grow closer to God. I was treated with a sisterly love by the women of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, making it a no-brainer that I, too, would be a Delta someday. And I did. Amen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I also needed to get my money up, so I got a job um, on campus here at Kirkland working as a ticket office representative in-house manager. And yes, come on. And the involvement did not stop there. I took it up a notch, and for the last two years, I was a resident assistant. Shout out to Dawson 4 and Dawson 2, my babies. Love y'all. <laughs> So being in those spaces and being an art therapy major brought to light the issues that I am passionate about. Through BSU, both as a general member and president, I gained a voice to speak on the challenges black students face on this campus It was not afraid to ask the necessary questions. 
through InterVarsity, I learned the importance of treating people with respect and spreading unconditional love. With my job at Kirkland, I learned effective customer service under the supervision of Brian Diver, and we also taught him that it's okay to have a little fun because everything is not that serious. <laughs> As an RA, I learned that everything will not go how you expect, whether that was through me or the many situations that had to be taken care of. With my studies, my passion for bringing healing and growth through art and mental health grew stronger each time I stepped into an art therapy class. Collectively, my education, leadership positions, and the many relationships I have made during my time at Milliken have taught me that grace and kindness are essential attributes for growth and development. Grace and kindness give us the ability to have understanding and compassion for one another, which we desperately need right now, while also giving us the opportunity to place ourselves in someone else's shoes. Ways of showing grace and kindness towards others consist of giving someone a kind word. We can offer someone assistance when it looks like they are too afraid to ask. We can give to a charity, we can volunteer, or we can simply listen. As I close, I wish to take this time to give a shout out to some significant people who have shown me grace and kindness <laughs> okay, back on track. I would like to take this time to give a shout out to some significant people who have shown me grace and kindness during my time at Millikan. From campus life, I thank Nicole for giving me the opportunity to support and lead freshmen and creating a space where I could be myself. To Natia Weathers, I thank you for always understanding me and for being consistent, starting at the front desk to having your own office in campus life. You have shown that all it takes is compassion and love to build community. Black girl to black girl, we rock. <laughs> to Lillian Jackson, you are quiet, but I have always felt and heard your support during every review. You know how challenging it can be for black women in spaces like this, but you never fail to encourage me and remind me that God got us. To Dr. Haig, Dr. Tanta, LJ, and Brian, I thank you all for your wonderful teachings and continuous support throughout my undergraduate years. To all my assigned and non-assigned residents, I thank you for teaching me patience and showing that it is okay to be dramatic. To my closest friends and best friends on campus, I thank you all for the adventures, the long talks, laughs, and comfort. We are locked in for life, okay? <laughs> to Dr. S, I thank you for being a great representation for young black men in leadership. To my fellow graduates, thank you for being an inspiration and not being afraid to be you. It is time for us to shine and remember to give yourself that same grace and kindness as you give to others as you step out into the world and become adults. And most importantly, I thank God for his covering in love. I would not have completed these four years without that man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you all for making my time at Millikan memorable. I encourage you to show grace and kindness to those who have done the same for you. Stay mighty, and congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you, Alila. I am so grateful for your words. This afternoon, I had the great pleasure of introducing our 2024 commencement speaker, LaVon Fisher-Wilson. Actress LaVon Fisher-Wilson has spent close to 20 years performing on the Broadway stage with major roles in The Color Purple, Chicago, Lysistrata Jones, and Newsies. 
Her credits also include television and film roles, appearing in Quantico, HBO's Divorce, Disney's Teen Beach Movie, and many others. <laughs> With the love of her husband, Daryl Wilson, LaVon names her three best productions as Daryl Jr., Darian, and Devonna Wilson. Please welcome LaVon Fisher Wilson to the podium. Good afternoon. Congratulations, Milliken College of Fine Arts and College of Professional Studies, class of 2024. Yes, this is such a great time for celebration and triumph. You've crammed for the test, you made the grades, you passed the classes, and now you finally are here victorious at graduation. Can I get an amen? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and so the big question everybody's gonna be asking you is now what, right? Um, um, as uh, the president told you, uh, all of my credits, so I am equipped to let, give you a few tidbits on what to do in the future. Just to let you know in a little, uh, some bullet points that I entitled, what is meant for you will be for you. So number one, Stick to your after college plan. I know some of you are gonna go take pictures, you're gonna go party your hearts out, you're gonna be doing selfies all around the campus, you know, you're gonna pack up your, your, um, your apartments and your dorms and head home, but stick, have a plan and stick to it. So what I mean by that, if you decide I wanna go to California or I'm gonna go to New York to hone my craft, give yourself about a six month plan to save up enough money to do that, six months to a year. Now you're not gonna save all the money that you're gonna need, but you're gonna save enough. But make sure that when your plan is done, six months or a year, when it is done, you, you keep your dream going, okay? Because let me tell you something, sometimes you can get at home, go back home and get a good job somewhere, and you start to set roots and you don't even know. And you, well, I'll go next year, I'll go the year after that, no. Stick to your plan. You got six months, you got a year, stick to it. Number two, especially in this performing life, rejection is part of the job. And I know some of you, um, probably some of you who've auditioned here for stuff and have gotten a lot of things, you think, okay, I'm, it's the same thing's gonna happen when I get out in the world. <laughs> and then you get to these auditions and there are people, your type, all around you with the same vocal type, with the same vocal abilities. And it can crumble you, it really can, if you look at it as, oh my God, I, I, I'm getting rejected. No, rejection is part of your job. You go in there, you sing, you dance, you act, you do what you need to do and you leave it in there. And you make the goal is to do a good job. That's it, that's it. And let them decide what they're going to do. But just know rejection is gonna be a part of the job. Don't let it make you crumble, okay? Number three, stay humble. It is important to stay humble in this business um, because if not, the world will humble you. Like I said, if you're in this school and you've been auditioning, you've gotten everything, everything you set out to do, it can give you a false sense of security. So just make sure that you stay humble with every experience, you learn from every experience. If you have an audition and you don't make it, you know, you might have booked the room, you don't know. You might have booked, that director might say, you know what? Maybe not for this project, but mm, that next project, he or she will be perfect for. So just make sure you stay humble and moldable. Number four, you can have it all. Do you hear me? You can have it all. Now having it all might look different to different people, and that's okay. Your have it all, one person's have it all might be, I'm gonna uh, immerse myself in this career in all facets, film and television, and I might not wanna have a family. And guess what? That's fine and that is your business. Other people might think, you know what? I'm gonna try to do everything. I'm gonna have a family, I'm gonna have a career, I'm gonna do it all like that. And that's their having it all. And that's just fine. And that's their business. But what we're not gonna do is let someone tell you or make you choose because that is not their business. I chose, I was pregnant three times on the Broadway stage. Yes, my three children all have perfect pitch because of me. 
<laughs> singing every night and them listening to other people sing. You can have it all. Get you a good support system, especially if you have a good family support system. You can have it all and a good partner. But if you're having all, it's like, no, I'm, a, I'm a either not going to do that or I'm going to pause and um, do that later. That's okay, too. Live your life. <laughs> all right. Number five, practice a healthy lifestyle. Now, and I'm not talking about body shaming at all because, you know, I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm talking about the inside because in order to have longevity in whatever career you choose, you have to take care of yourself. You really do. And it, it might be baby steps, eating healthier, taking vitamins, making exercise a part of your daily regimen as fun, you know? You don't want to get uh, uh, my age and then have to relearn and have to force yourself to exercise. If you start now doing it and eating healthy and everything, it'll become a life long lifestyle for you, and it'll help you stay longer in your career, and that's what's most important, okay? All right, let's see. Seven, be kind because it's the right thing to do. Don't be kind because you think somebody's, uh, uh, if, if I'm kind to this person, they'll get me this part, or they'll get me this job. Don't do that. That's grimy. Be kind. <laughs> Be kind because it's the right thing to do. Um, I was at an audition and I had a, um, the monitor that was there, this person that hands out the, the things, lets you know what number you are, and people weren't very kind to him. And so I struck up a conversation, we got to laughing, having a good time, we walked in the audition, I did it, and he heard that I was looking for representation, I was kind of in between agents. When I walked out, he said, you know, I just love talking to you. He said, and I heard you needed an agent. Which ones do you want? I know them all. And that's how I got a major agent in New York City. Be kind, because it's the right thing to do, not what, what somebody you can get from somebody, okay? Because them same people that are monitors, you'll look up and they'll be a director of a show. They'll be behind that audition table and you were mean to them and they'll, they'll get you back, so don't do it. All right, let me go to this one. All right, learn to network, okay? I hate networking, I hate small talk. I don't wanna talk to you, if I don't wanna talk to you, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> but we are our brand, we are our business. And so networking can help you, you know, uh, meet the next director, meet the next producer, you know, constantly networking. And I know it's uncomfortable, but if you can uh, be genuine about it, you know, genuinely add, just say, hey, my name is this and get a conversation going. You need to network because you are your business. All right, I'm getting through it, okay. Know what your no's are. Um, for me, I don't like to play slave roles. I don't like to play maid roles. So know what your no is, and whatever it is, stick to it. Also, I don't like, you know, I, I ain't gonna be naked nowhere, so you know, <laughs> you know. But that's my no, those are my no's, and I don't, I don't stray from them, so don't you stray from yours, keep your integrity, okay? Have something else that fuels your life. So some people in this business, they get so caught up in the business that they, equate their, wor their worth to whether they get cast or whether they get this. Mm -mm. You're worth so much more than casting. Find something that fuels you, um, be it teaching, be it art, be it reading, be it uh, running, you know? Um, find something else that fuels you, volunteer work, something that, that is like, okay, I, I have a life outside of this, okay? All right. Pay your student loans. Listen, I know you just graduated. I know they give you a little, little time. But when they do, when it's time, pay them. I don't care if it's like a minimum payment. Because let me tell you, you'll think, okay, let me wait till I make enough money and then I can pay that and, and, and have a life. It's never going to happen. <laughs> pay your loans and get them done. Because one day you're going to be looking to buy a house. You're going to be looking to, to, to uh, um, buy a car. You're going to be looking. And then there's that, that debt right there, a long time. But hey, girl, hey, <laughs> you ain't paid me. Okay, so pay your, even the minimum payment. Pay them loans, child, they follow you everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Cherish your parents and your mentors. Um, I, I stood on this stage at Milliken 20-some uh, years ago, and um, my mother, I was, the, I was the first one to go to college in my family, so my mother got together, rented a coach, and I had 60 people in this audience when I graduated, right? And the night before, we all crammed in a suite, and each of my elders t gave me some advice that I cherish to this day, and now most of them are gone. Um, all I have is my mom left now. So I, I cherish the, all the different things that my parents and my mentors and my teachers told me. Please cherish those things, because they will help you through life. All right, and what is meant for you is meant for you. Y'all heard that saying before, right? I hate it, because I'm like, I want everything to be for me. 
everything, but it's not. It's not. There are certain things that are meant for you, and when they come, can't nobody take it. Can't nobody take that God will move people out the way like, no, that's for her, you know? So what's meant for you is meant for you. But sometimes, y'all, it's also meant for you to clap for your friends. Clap for your friends when they make it, because that sends good energy back your way, okay? Don't get caught up in the negativity of, of this business, because when your thing comes, it's going to come. When I did Newsies, I'm going to tell you this, and then I'm going to end it. When I did Newsies, um, my mother came to visit me in New York, and um, it was an audition came up for Newsies, right? And um, my mom was like, uh, I, I said, I got a cold. I think I'm going to miss this. this. She said, <laughs> she said, um, our people, our ancestors, you know, uh, uh, was in the fields doing whatever they had to do. I think I was pregnant too. He's not doing that. Whatever we had to, to do, you know, drop them babies and kept on moving. All you got to do is sing a song. <laughs> she always had a way of humbling me. <laughs> so I drank something um, um, and I went to that audition. And I went to audition half voice. And the director liked me so much. This never happens. He said, um, I'm going to call you back, and I want you to, I'm, I'm going to lower the key of that song, and I want you to work on it. That never happens, y'all, okay? Um, I went out, I went to see the show, because he said, this scene you just did, I like your rendition, but that's not how it goes. <laughs> so I had to go see it, right? I came back for the callbacks, Harvey Firestein was there, um, um, and all the, 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 the big people. I sang the song in another key. And the next day I got a call back and said it was, and they said it was mine. Now listen, look at all the different things that could have hindered that. People don't tell you, oh Lord, key. People don't tell you, go look at this so you can do better than the director. But that was for me. I found out later on people were calling saying, you need to get LaVon in the audition. You need to get LaVon. That was God moving those things. So when it comes and it's for you, it's for you. Be ready though. Be ready. Don't, don't, when it comes and you're like, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Nuh-uh. Be ready. Be ready. And when you are ready, it's just going to all work out, you guys. Okay? So I'm going to end this uh, with a little song, a little bit of a song. Um, it's going to be in a different key because you know I'm a bass. <laughs> when the sharpest words cut you down, I'm going to send a flood, going to drown them out. This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me. Look out, cause here I come, and I'm marching on the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen, I make no apologies, this is me. I know I'm worthy of your love, and there is nothing I am not worthy. This is me. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Levi. <laughs> ah, and now to the heart of the afternoon. Our reason for coming together today, the conferring of the valued Millikan degree. I would like to introduce Interim Dean of the College of Professional Studies, Dr. Elizabeth Gephardt, who will present the candidates for the degrees from the College of Professional Studies. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing from the College of Professional Studies please rise? <laughs> President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for the Master of Science in Nursing degree from the College of Professional Studies. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millikan Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millikan University, I confer upon you the degree, Master of Science in Nursing, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing degree please come forward? <laughs> Erica Rose Castanon.
Chinwe Jane Imeniki. Anna Marie Watts. Please join me in congratulating these candidates upon receiving their Master of Science in Nursing degree today. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Professional Studies please rise? President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Professional Studies. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree please come forward? An Honors Scholar graduating summa cum laude, Jacqueline Marie Anderson. <laughs> graduating summa cum laude, Chloe M. Book. Chambriel Catrice Evans. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Destiny Alyssa Galvin. <laughs> Colin Jeffrey Hancock. Sydney Grace Jandron. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Sarah Lehner. <laughs> Cole Lachlan Lawrence. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Gracie Lynn Reynolds. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Ethan Matthew Eugene Spain. <laughs> A Long Vandenberg Scholar graduating summa cum laude, Taylor Jordan Young. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree from the College of Professional Studies please rise? President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Science degree from the College of Professional Studies. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please come forward? Graduating cum laude, Stephen Keith Allen. <laughs> Madison Elaine Ashcraft. Graduating summa cum laude, Kendra Leanne Barbie. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Riley Sierra Blake. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Bailey Elizabeth Bleeker. <laughs> Colton Bertel. Nathan Calloway. 
Chanel Nellie Paula Clark. Oh my God. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Mackenzie Lynn Claypool. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Sophie I. Darden. <laughs> Derek Jeffrey Dayton. <laughs> In abstentia, Kelby Michael Galladay. Andrew James Henderson. Graduating magna cum laude, Hannah Elizabeth Henson. Ryan G. Hong. Graduating cum laude, Abigail Marie Hills. Graduating summa cum laude, Sarah Rutgers Isif. Graduating summa cum laude, Ryan Allen Jansen. Chloe Allison Klimstein. Megan M. Larson. <laughs> Chloe Isabella Lobmaster. <laughs> Casey Lynn Mitchell. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Nash D. Mose. Presenting Nash with his diploma is his mother, Corinne Mose. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Lane C. Olemeyer. Graduating summa cum laude, Lee Marie Parentoni. Michael Anthony Pollock. Evan Michael Rivera. Graduating cum laude, Drew Sutton. Graduating summa cum laude, Gabriel Faith Tomlinson. <laughs> Justin Drummond Wiley, Jr. <laughs> Kayla Ann Woof. Well, the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from the College of Professional Studies please rise. <laughs> President Reynolds, I present to you today the following candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from the College of Professional Studies. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millikan Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millikan University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree please come forward? Bianca Aguilar. An Honors Scholar, graduating magna cum laude, Reese Brianne Brown. Graduating magna cum laude, J.C. M. Centola. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Quincy Grace Collings. <laughs> Gra
graduating cum laude, Julia Marie Drummel. Carlene Lachelle Hawkins. An honors and long Vandenberg scholar graduating magna cum laude, Diana Hernandez. Christine Michelle Hoffman. Graduating cum laude, Danielle Summer Kelso. Caitlin Marie Kessler. Addison Riley Kirkpatrick. Graduating magna cum laude, Emma Jane Lewandowski. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Faith Leanne Mariner. <laughs> Taylor Lynn Milholland. <laughs> Kara Nicole Montgomery. Ashley Iko Phillips. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Jacqueline Matina Reed. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Alexis Nicole Reiser. Kelsey Tinder. <laughs> An honor scholar, Nicholas Alfredo Valenzquez. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating all these new Millican graduates. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Jessa Wilcoxon, the Interim Dean of the College of Fine Arts, who will present candidates for degrees from the College of Fine Arts. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the College of Fine Arts please rise? President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Fine Arts. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree please come forward? Bachelor of Arts, an honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Emily Jane Barton. <laughs> an honor scholar graduating summa cum laude, Cora Elizabeth Carr. <laughs> Lauren Ashley Dalton. Graduating cum laude, Jacob Chamberlain Dietz. <laughs> Dylan Tyler Hill. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Jordan Lois Jones. An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude and receiving two degrees, Eliana Renee Ketley. <laughs> An 
and Honor Scholar graduating summa cum laude, Rebecca Catherine Leopold. <laughs> Axel Madrigal. <laughs> graduating magna cum laude, Logan McCormick. Graduating cum laude, Kyle Joseph McMillan. <laughs> An honor scholar and presidential scholar, graduating magna cum laude, Emily Lorin Moore. <laughs> Logan James Muholland. Nectar Kate Schneider. Fred Rama Samana. Michaela Juliet Sullivan. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science in the College of Fine Arts please rise? President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Science degree from the College of Fine Arts. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for their Bachelor of Science degree come forward? Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude, Maxwell Christopher Addison. <laughs> Devine Ishuti. Mark Philip Jensen. Will the candidates for degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in the College of Fine Arts please rise? President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the College of Fine Arts. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Fine Arts come forward? Bachelor of Fine Arts, Lorimer Ortega. <laughs> Natalie Lucia Marie Buchanan. <laughs> An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Skylar Shea Cho. An honor scholar and presidential scholar, Daniel Allen Clear. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Caden Michael Cutler. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Caitlin Elizabeth Domoncos. Graduating magna cum laude, Jacob Michael Doris. Nathaniel Early Ochoana. Cooper James Edison. Graduate magna cum laude, Ramsey Rose Folkerts. Yeah. 
an honor scholar graduating summa cum laude, Gabriela Noel Galuzzo. Adriana Sarah Goodall. Graduating magna cum laude, Lauren Hartley. An honor scholar, Avery May Hoffman. Graduating magna cum laude, Brittany Witha. Kyle Peter Capusta. Alila Kinua. Isabel, Isabel in Lambert. Graduating cum laude, Jerry Madison Leader. Rosalina Maria Lintiti. Graduating magna cum laude, Dimitri Alexander Magnus. An honor scholar graduating cum laude, Gia Elisa Marino. Graduating summa cum laude, Reagan Cole Mignette. Graduating magna cum laude, Kailana Mung. Graduating cum laude, Alex Marino Del Rio. An honor scholar, Emily Christine Nicholas. Graduating cum laude, Maya N. Norwood. An honor scholar graduating magma cum laude, Emily Margaret Otrowski. A Long Vanderberg scholar graduating cum laude, Quinn Marie Perez. An honor scholar graduating summa cum laude, Catherine Margaret Phillips. An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Colette Michelle Phillips. Nina M. Pobica. An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Connor Hensley Schrader. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Cody Michael Smith. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Audrey Noel Smith Phillips. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Terry. Graduating summa cum laude, Whitney Page Turner. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Abigail Luann Yukart. <laughs> Zariah Kaliana Weary. <laughs> Jorge Jawe. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Music in the College of Fine Arts please rise? Yeah. President Reynolds, I present to you today these candidates who are eligible for a Bachelor of Music degree from the College of Fine Arts. 
By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois and the Millican Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the faculty of Millican University, I confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Music with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates for degree of Bachelor of Music come forward? Bachelor of Music, Josiah Thomas Bailey. Daniel Colby Kavanaugh. An honor scholar and presidential scholar, Carson Shane Cole. Cameron Nicholas Cross. An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Tyler J. Dooley. Connor Glenn Edwards. Dane Clark Edwards. Madison Page Foreman. Joseph Michael Goodwin. Zachary Joseph Haldick. Graduating cum laude, Victor Carl Lawton II. An honor scholar graduating summa cum laude, Ian M. Marshall. <laughs> graduating magna cum laude, Adriana Francesca Martinez. <laughs> An honor scholar graduating magna cum laude, Rachel Ann Pustosti. <laughs> An honor scholar and presidential scholar, Priscilla Sorbin. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Trevor Martin Schaefer. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Megan Christine Shippert. Graduating cum laude, Cooper John Self. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Katelsi Elizabeth Serrano Gutan. <laughs> An honor scholar graduating summa cum laude, Savannah Eliza Watts. Graduating magna cum laude, Morgan Elizabeth Weir. Please join me in congratulating these new Millican graduates. How about one more round of applause for all of our graduates today? At this time, I'd like to ask Ronald L. Branch, Chair of the Milliken University Board of Trustees, to come to the podium to offer words of congratulations to our newest graduates. Good afternoon. As chairman of the Millican University Board of Trustees, I have the great privilege of offering a few words of congratulations from the board. Graduates, it is with, it, it is with enthusiasm 
that I congratulate each and every one of you on your success here today. As Millican graduates, you have each in your own way experienced that which makes Millican distinctive. You are performance learning. You are professional success. You are democratic citizenship in our global environment. And I hope you feel today, more than any other day, that you have a life of meaning and value. At Millican University, our mission is to deliver on the promise of education. This afternoon, we see that promise fulfilled. On behalf of the Millican Uni University Board of Trustees, I give you my most sincere congratulations and best wishes for the future. Thank you, and congratulations. It's now my pleasure to invite Millican Alumni Association Board Representative Lindsey Quick, Class of 2015, to join me on stage and offer remarks from the Alumni Association. Thank you, President Reynolds. Good afternoon, graduates. On behalf of the Alumni Association Board and my fellow Millican alumni all over the world, I am honored to congratulate you on this tremendous accomplishment and to officially welcome you to the Millican Alumni Association. We also invite you, your family, and your supporters to join us directly after the ceremony for a congratulatory reception on the quad and the patio of the Center for Theater and Dance. We have a small gift for each graduate, an uncut key engraved with Millikan's name, so as you leave today and begin to open the door to new endeavors, you are encouraged to stay connected to your Millikan home. There will also be refreshments and a chance to connect with faculty, staff, and friends. Again, we are so proud of your accomplishments. Now, I would like to invite Kara Montgomery to join me on stage and lead the tassel turning ceremony. Kara is from Maroa, Illinois, and is earning a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing from the College of Professional Studies today. Graduates, please rise. On behalf of Millican University, I congratulate you upon your graduation and welcome you as an Millican alum. Millican hopes you continue to maintain ties with the university by sharing your time, talents, and triumphs, as we are all now lifetime members of the Alumni Association. Millican University congratulates you upon you achieving your goal of receiving a degree in higher education. Now, let us signify our graduation by completing the ceremonial gesture of turning our tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2024. Now I'd like to invite all who are able to rise as we listen to our alma mater, led by graduating students from the School of Music. Zach Hoydick, Ian Marshall, Joe Goodwin, Cora Carr, Rachel Pusateri, Adriana Martinez, Morgan Weir, Tyler Dooley and Carson Cole.
You may be seated. I know, I promise we're almost done here. <laughs> Let me close this ceremony by offering again our sincere congratulations to all of you, especially our newly minted graduates. Today does not end our relationship. The folks who were good friends and mentors to you for the time you were here with us are still interested in being part of your lives and helping in whatever way they can. Millican is still your home. It's a place where you can come to be re-energized or to sort things out. We want your continued involvement so we can be better and can fulfill the promises that we make to students who choose Millican University as their place to be educated. We want you to visit often and to never feel that you can't come home. We're here for you and want to support you in whatever way we can as you depart this place and begin your new exceptional lives as Millican graduates. I would ask that all of our guests please remain seated until the class of 2024 has left the auditorium. Thank you all for the privilege of being with you today.